Hi there and welcome to today's Quantum Carpenter Nature Flowers Photo P on your iPhone tutorial. Today I'm going to make a cube like the one you see in front of you here. To do that we're going to use the double tessellated pattern that we made in the last video. Okay, I'm going to close this and show you what to do. So we close that. We need to make our pattern half the size. So we're going to go to Edit, to Transform and to Scale. We're going to make it 50% wide and 50% tall. So we type in 50 there. And we type in 50 in there. Once we've done that, we need to turn it to a 45 degree angle so that it looks like a diamond. Okay, brilliant. Once we've done that, go to our layer menu, make sure we're on the right layer. Then we need to go back to our edit menu, transform and scale. We need to make sure it is now exactly 57.7% tall, which is the maths to make it work as an isometric projection. Once we've done that, we need to go to the layer menu, we need to select the layer, we need to go to duplicate layer and move the image to the bottom so you can see it lines up. Then we need to go to edit and to transform and to rotate by 60 degrees. So we go down to 60 degrees Click done. You can now see that it lines up exactly where we want it to. If it doesn't go exactly where we want it to, we move it so it does. Then we go to layer, we go to the layer menu, duplicate layer, go across to edit, transform, flip horizontal, move the piece over and you can now see we have a perfect cube. Now we can do a few little finishing touches to make it look more three-dimensional. On the layer we've just moved, so layer two, we go to image, adjustments, and hue saturation, and we make it slightly darker to give it a bit of shadow. Click OK, and then we go to the layer menu, to the other copied layer, and we go to image, adjustments, and to our hue saturation, and we make it slightly less dark. Click OK, and you can now see we have a bit of shadow to it. That one actually needs to be moved slightly so that it lines up perfectly. We can also add a background. So if we go to the layer menu, we click a new layer. We go to layer, we can arrange that, send it to the back. Get the paint bucket fill tool, choose some white and click on the screen and we've now got a white layer you can see that second one i've nudged it when i was doing it so i'm budget edit step backwards it's the move tool i'll move that one around so it's perfectly lined up if it does do that little snappy thing that's okay there you go that was fun right i hope you enjoyed making a cube once you've made a cube Obviously, you could duplicate that and make more cubes, and you could make all sorts of things. You could turn it into kind of like a, a whole pattern of patterns. Um, have fun making your own one, and obviously, if you enjoyed the video, press the thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching, and enjoy. Bye.